let's talk about two clubs auctions. One no two clubs. The basis of all no <coughs> trucks. So, uh, you know, there's there's a number of hands that you're used to covering with statement, and I'm not suggesting you change that. But what I am suggesting is any time you pick up five spades invitational hand and somewhat unbalanced, meaning you have another five card suit. Or not somewhat. Anytime you have five spades invitational, you consider this treatment. One no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. That shows five spades, invitational hand, and another five card suit that could be hearts. So that's this is how you would handle five five invitationals in the majors. It could be hearts. It could even be a six card secondary suit. The key is that it guarantees five spades and guarantees invitational values. And in most cases, you're going to play either two spades or three of your five bagger. Typical hands for me would be ace, ten, fifth, stiff, king, fifth, and ten, double two. Now, we all know that that hand can produce four spades against certain uh, uh, certain types of no trump openers, but it's likely not to. It's a seven count, opposite of 15 or 14 plus 17. So, but you begin this with two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. By the way, most of you probably play that auction, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, as five spades, four hearts, and invitation. That's the standard treatment of that auction. I'll come back to that auction in a minute, that, I mean that holding in a minute, because every time you do something, you give something up, but you're not going to give that up entirely. So, we'll come back to that thought. But this, that's the hand type that, that begins with stamen and rebids two spades. Five spades and another five card suit, invitational values. It should, in the no trumpers mind, when they hear this, they should be thinking invitational values, but not three no trump invitational. Unless you chose to open a no trump with some ace, king, queen, ten, six, the clubs, you made your match point decision with some crazy hand with, you know, king and spades, you got six runners and king and a club and semi stoppers in the two red suits. There's really no play for three no trump. Partner is announced at most eight. If partner has this hand with a nine count, I would be forcing the game. I'd be bidding two hearts, two spades, three diamonds. Uh, if I had the queen of spades more. Uh, myself. Uh, but I would say the max should be eight, but more likely than not, it's seven. Could it ever be six? I've seen it done with king, ten, fifth, king, ten, sixth. Remember, it's five or more of the other suit. Stiff, stiff. That's a magic hand to get to four hearts or four spades with over a no trump opener. Because you're certainly never going to force the game with that hand in case partner doesn't. But but uh, you'll see how you might find hearts if partner um, cooper if the no trumper cooperates. Okay. So how does the no trumper proceed over this auction? Basically, he should be aware that you have invitational hand, probably around a seven count, with five spades and another five card suit. So if he has honor double tin of spades and just wants the safer place to play, he just bids two no trump and uh, you bid your five card suit and that's probably your five three fit and that's the end of the auction. Usually two spades or three of your five beggar will end the auction 70 or 80% of the time. There are times, however, when he has honor third of spades over two spades, where he's curious if he has fillers, even, a, even only a 15 or 16 count because he knows 10 of your cards. If he has a fast ace in the non-suit, meaning not, tr not spades and not the five-bagger, so now you only have two losers, if he has a filler and the right holding in spades, 
four spades can be right. So two no trump can also be used as kind of a game try in spades. It says bid your other suit. So uh, if you bid three clubs or three diamonds or three hearts and he passes, fine. But if you bid the right five card suit, he may be able to bid four spades. Everybody follow that? Depending on what his holding is in that suit. And finally, if you have this hand with six hearts and five spades over two no trump, partner either is exploring or thinks there's a get out at the three level, whichever heart holding he's, he's holding or spade holding, I would rebid four hearts with a six five there. And if he was always on honor third of spades, he can correct. And if he was on doubleton spade with Drek, hopefully he has heart cards and you'll have some play for four hearts. So that's a treatment that I suggest you consider. Two clubs, two diamonds, two spades shows unbalanced five spades, five of another suit. I saw Bill shake his head affirmatively when this auction used to show uh, four hearts and five spades invitation. So you're not going to necessarily give that up. What I'm suggesting you handle that with now is one no trump, two hearts, two spades, to no Trump. So at this point, what responder has shown is five spades and an invitational hand that's not five fives. Everybody agree with that? That's what you've shown. You've shown it, you've shown five spades because you transfer partner to spades. And then after partner duly bid two spades, you bid two no. So you have five spades and an invitational hand. So let's come back around to the no Trump. If the no trumper is going to accept, if the no trumper is going to accept the invitation, if they're going to accept it at four spades because they have three card spades for it, they should just go ahead and do four spades. But if they're going to accept it with three no trump, meaning they're on a max, and they hold four or five hearts, and remember, I freely bid a no trump with five hearts. They hold four or five hearts. They just bid three hearts in this auction. It just says, partner, I was accepting your game try of a balanced hand with five spades, and I am showing you four or five hearts. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. So now, let's switch back around to the no trump. I mean, the advance, or sorry. Ken Lissera corrected me, that's not the advancer, that's the responder. Advancers are only in response to overcalls. All right, so, so the responder now has four hearts, the hand that used to be handled by that auction. They just simply raise it, because opener has four or five hearts, they raise it to four hearts. But let's say responder has three hearts. So your five spade, Invitational hand looks something like this. Queen Jack, fifth of spades. King, third of hearts. Doubleton, three, six, seven, eight. Queen, third. Okay? Five, three, two, three. So what's that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so one no trump, two hearts, two spades, two no trump. Partner bids three hearts, four or five hearts. Any time over three hearts that you hold three hearts, Remember, partner is agreeing to play three no trump when he bid three hearts. Everybody understand that? He agreed to raise your invitational sequence regardless of what your holding is to three no trump. He bid three hearts protecting against the auction that you no longer can bid, against the four four. But he could have five. So if he has five, you probably want to play four hearts, not three no trump. So instead of bidding three no trump, you just rebid three spades. It says, partner, I can't raise three hearts to four because I didn't have four. But I do have three hearts. So if you're on a five bagger, raise hearts. I don't have six spades. If I had six spades, I would have stayed in, I would have transferred and invited in spades, or I would have texted us, or something like that. So I can't possibly have six spades. It's just a temporizing bid, allowing for the four, four, five, three exploration. Everybody clear? Okay. So that's a, that's another, that's a little bit of a pickup of what you gave up by playing this, because you gave up that invitational sequence, but you're, it only matters in the game going auctions. You still give it up in the, in the, you know, the, the, the get out auctions, 
But I think what you gain is well worth what you're giving up. All right, so that's, uh, that's two spades. Okay, so let's continue on. So, all right, so we've covered, we've covered the balanced hands. We've covered, um, it goes without saying that a transfer followed by a new suit is 100% game force. Uh, if we have time at the end, we can deal with Nancy's questions about the forward going way. But uh, I believe in general, you should not necessarily take that second bid by uh, responder as a slam try. Just a game forcing auction looking for the correct game. There's too many, too many hands that are questionable. All right. So